At first glance, the 1995 and 1996 stocks, which are used on the Tube's Northern and Jubilee lines respectively, can appear to be virtually identical. However, if you're particularly eagle-eyed, there are some small differences that you may be able to pick out while on your travels. So, without further ado, here are 10 small differences between the 1995 and 1996 stock. Number 1, which is also probably the most well-known one, are the differences in sound when the train arrives and departs, the 1996 stock of which being the iconic Jubilee Line noise. Number 2. The 1995 stocks have 6 carriages, whereas the 1996 stocks have 7 carriages. Number 3. The two-tone sound played when the doors open is slightly higher pitched on the 1996 stock. This station is Colindale. Number 4. The colour of the interior side of the doors differs ever so slightly between the two trains. On the 95 stock, they are light grey, and on the 96 stock, they are fully white. To show it, here is a side-by-side -side photo comparison. Number 5. The trains make slightly different sounds when stationary. Number 6. In the dot matrix text boards, the 1995 stock uses a black border with orange LEDs, and the 1996 stock uses a white border with red LEDs. Number 7. Following refurbishment, the 1995 stock lost their open buttons on the inside carriages. However, in the 1996 stock, they are still present. Number 8. The grab poles of the 95 stock are coloured dark blue. However, on the 96 stock, they are coloured in Jubilee Line Silver. Number 9. In the wheelchair accessible areas of seating, the 95 stock uses tip-up seats, whereas the 96 stock uses perch seats. Another bonus thing is the 96 stock's use of a different colour of a maquette for the priority seats. And finally, number 10. The colour of the flooring differs between the two trains. The 95 stock floors are white, but black where the doors are located, and for the 96 stock, they are black, but white where the doors are located. So that was 10 small differences between the 1995 and 1996 stock. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video or perhaps learned something new, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.